Hi, I'm Roger Bergfeld, president of Sea Air Service. The purpose of the video today is to talk to you about the BOGA compressor oil sample procedure. BOGA requires two oil samples a year as part of their five-year warranty program. If these samples aren't taken and submitted, in most cases, you no longer have a five-year warranty on your compressor. If Sea Air is doing preventative maintenance or service on your compressor, we will pull one oil sample a year. This requires you to do the second oil sample and send it to us. To make this process a little bit easier, we put a kit together for you. We have two oil sample containers, a Ziploc bag, a syringe, a tag, and an information form, and the box to return the sample to us. So on this form, probably the two most important things are the serial number and the run hours. So we're gonna show you where to find those. Serial number is on a tag, usually on the control panel or the control panel housing. There's a serial number, model number, and all the, all the other specs for this machine. So to get the run hours, you come to your control panel and the run hours are at the little clock. So you simply push the button twice and there it flashes all your run hours, operating hours, idle hours, all of that information. Let's start the process of pulling an oil sample. First step in the process is turning your compressor off. Next, we're gonna find the main power supply, turn it off and lock it for safety. Then we're gonna drain the compressed air system Okay, once the compressed air is all drained off, we're going to remove the oil fill plug. And set it aside. At this point, we're going to take the provided syringe, insert it into the fill hole, and draw out some oil. You may have to repeat this step more than once to get the desired amount of oil. And we're going to inject it into the small container. Okay, what we're looking for is one third to one half full on this container. So it looks like, repeat the step twice to get you there. Once you have that amount of oil in, seal up this container and set it aside for now. Then we're gonna take the form that comes with the kit. We're gonna fill out the tag for the sample with the date and serial number of the compressor. And we're gonna fill out this information sheet. So once this tag is filled out, we're going to pull it off and attach it to the smaller container. Make sure that it's sealed. And we're gonna put the small container inside of the Ziploc bag and seal it. And insert everything into the larger container. And seal it. Put the oil sample in the box provided. Tear off the right side of the form. Insert it into the box, seal it, set it aside for now. So the next step in the process is to top off the oil if necessary. We look pretty good, we're right up to the threads. Install the fill plug. All right, now we need to get the compressor back up and running. So we're gonna go to the main power supply and unlock it. Turn the power back on. 
under the compressor control panel. Wait for it to initialize and turn the compressor on. We're checking for leaks out of the fill plug. If no leaks, let your compressor run as usual. Now we're going to take this box. We're going to attach the shipping label that we've emailed to you and get this in the mail. That completes the process.